everyone welcome to another tutorial today we will be talking about um, using the UDM Pro to do traffic management on your network so traffic management is how you essentially um, control um, the routing of traffic in your network um, in regards to our uh, UDM Pro so if you log into your um, Graphical user interface at administrator you go to settings you go to traffic management Today we're going to focus on the traffic management rules and routes So the rules essentially gives you three options. You can be able to block a specific traffic um, Within a category so it can be an app an application group a domain name an IP address a region the whole internet or something on your local network you can allow for the same category or you can uh, specify how you want to throttle or um, manage the number of uh, or the amount of bandwidth that the device the specific device on your network uses um, the other part we're going to talk about today with traffic management is creating routes so for those of you who have multiple internet interfaces in my home i have just two um one connect sorry i have just one one connection um which is um uh, my verizon isp um but my udm pro does support to have multiple WAN, so i can have two WAN connections but i just have one the one that's uh, green the gray one means it's not active um, and if you also have a VPN uh, client set up, like in this case, we have um, a PIA, Private Internet Access VPN set up. You can also use this as an interface to route specific traffic or all your traffic from a specific device or all your devices in your network through that VPN interface using the route. Um, so the first one we're going to talk about is... Um, the traffic management rules which essentially is like firewall rules um, so we're going to go to create a rule and we're going to create a blocking rule we're going to choose an application and here we're going to select two applications so we're going to select uh, let's say Facebook and then we're going to select Netflix okay we want to block Facebook and Netflix from a specific device in our network um, the next option you need to do is um, select a target, which is going to be the device in your network. You can see you can do all devices. You can do a group of devices, which is your networks that you've configured. Or you can do a specific device. In this case, I'm going to do a specific device, which is my cell phone. So we can test it. So I'm going to go scroll down here to um, my cell phone. Let me see which one it is. Make sure. All right, there we go. My cell phone is um, this one right here. So once I select my cell phone, um, I'm able to go now. And the next thing we can do is schedule. If we want to create a schedule for um, a specific time of the day, we can put in the time range. We can do it every week specific day of the week and a specific time and then you can do it one time only or you can do it always this is very good if you have kids at home um, you can use this to block specific sites so your kids are not able to access those sites um, in that case you can use something like an app group and just block something like um, social networks okay and that blocks everything from social networks or in instant messages and so forth unfortunately you can't create a custom group you can only use this if you wanted to do something more customized you use a domain name but then we're going to go back to um this and block facebook and netflix and we're just going to do test okay and then once we add that rule uh, we can see now here that the rule is added below so I'm going to pause this video here and I'll switch to my phone so I can show you guys how we test this and make sure it works. This is going to make this easier um, real quick. I'm going to edit this right here and um, I will um, change this and use my laptop instead of my phone. 
that way I don't have to do the back and forth so I'm just gonna find the laptop I'm using right here and then I will apply that and now our rule is saved um, I'm connected to the network so I'm just gonna use an incognito browser and then I'll do facebook.com So you see me trying to access Facebook. It is just going to load and try to load. Unfortunately, 40, I'm um, sorry, not 40 gig. Okay. Uh, UDM Pro does not give you, um, does not present you with a block page. It would be nice if you could get a block page. But with um, the way UDM Pro is set up, all you're going to get is um, an error page saying you can't access the internet. Okay. Or it's just, in my case, it's not going to load. Um, so I'm just gonna go back and I'll try netflix.com and you can see Netflix is the same thing. So I'm gonna go to Google. I search for Netflix. Obviously the internet is working, but if I click Netflix, it's just gonna load and load and load and load and in time it's gonna fail. Um, so if I stop, if I were to stop that and I go back here and if I, uh, go to manage and I remove this rule and I go back on here open a new tab search for Netflix if I go there we go we can access Netflix right away if I go to Facebook and I go there we go we can access Facebook right away so that's kind of how um, the rules in this case work they're kind of like firewall rules you can block certain things and you can allow certain things based on the time of the day so the next thing we're going to talk about here is the route so to do this you just need to go to create new route um, we can do the same for I'm gonna go back and do the same thing I'll use my laptop that I'm using to record this video okay right here select the laptop and we want to route everything every traffic outgoing traffic on this laptop to our vpn that we have set up and we're gonna do this vpn and then when we save that um now i can go back here if i type what my ip address all right if i click now on here you can see my IP address is different. That's not my IP address. That's not my home IP address. I know that for a fact. Um, so it's saying that I'm in uh, Trenton, New Jersey, and my ISP now is Digital Energy Technologies Geo um, SPA. So that has changed. Um, so if I go back down, minimize that tab on there, and I come to manage this, or I'll double click on that have it open um, before I delete this rule you can also do this for specific domain names and regions but most people are going to use everything if you want to use a VPN you want to uh, make sure everything is being um, routed through the VPN um, so we're going to do this and um, we're going to go back and I'll delete this right here so we can test it again Okay, if I go back to what's my IP address and if we do that again, open a new tab, we can now see that I am getting my actual home IP address. See now my ISP is back to Verizon business and um, my city and state is correct. Okay, so that's it about um, the UDM Pro uh, um, traffic management. This can be really helpful either in your small business or in your enterprise business or in this case, if you have a home and you want to restrict what specific devices can access, either be it in specific times or you just want to have a setting device um, route all this traffic through the VPN so the IP address are not comp compromised at any time. This would be a great way to do it. Um, 
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys again soon. Have a great day.